Today is the 1st of May, which means it's my husband's birthday. It's a very rainy day outside, so I can't be outside. But something has just arrived, as you can see, and it's a box with a plant inside, surprisingly enough. So without further ado, let us have a look at his best birthday present ever. There it is. It's looking very, very green and cute. I'll just get it out of there. And here it is unwrapped. Look how gorgeous it is. Look, it's actually called raspberry. How funny is that? But it's supposed to be slightly different from regular raspberries, which of course are grown on canes. So this one is supposed to be a raspberry tree. I brought him outside so we can have a closer look and so we can get a bit of a wash in the rain. It's only sprinkling now, but he was really dry. I think very often when plants are sent in the post, they're, it's nice to send them when they're dry because then they cost less, don't they? And I guess it's also less chance of them getting really muddy and messy. So he's out here now. Look how beautiful he is. It's this lovely, interesting raspberry tree. It's a very new development. And I, at the moment, I can just see the leaves look quite similar to regular raspberries, slightly different perhaps. The flowers themselves look very different from my raspberries, which are also in bloom at the moment. I can just show you a comparison. These ones are much more full bloomed. Really pretty. So it was developed by a Japanese breeder um, called Toshikito Hara. And so, interestingly enough, the plant is named after him in that it's called a Hara rasp. Look down here at the bottom, you can see it's a Rubus ideus and a Hara rasp. And yeah, what it's supposed to do is unlike raspberry canes, which at least mine, they sort of flower twice and then you chop them to the ground and then in the meantime new little canes are shooting up from the bottom and then they produce more and more fruit and they just continuously do that. This one is supposed to develop a really thick overwintering stem which is then trained to form an upright tree, a raspberry tree with a strong central trunk supporting a crown of fruiting berries. So. What I can see is that there's a, there's a bunch of trunks down there, so I guess I really have to train them all to be trees. Maybe I could separate them at some point as well. Maybe I'll do that. Okay, so first of all, they're supposed to be flowering now between May and June and then fruiting between July and August. So I could, after they finished fruiting, I could try to separate them a bit and really work on training them into these beautiful trees. They're meant to be like a lot more space saving because other raspberries are really quite sprawling and they spread and they grow and they, you know, they're like vines pretty much. It's dangling all over the shop. So wonderful. I love plants that spread easily. It just means more fruit really. But yeah, these ones are supposed to be really compact and of course able to grow in containers really well. And so I want to keep it here in this courtyard, which doesn't have any soil. So that means that it could just get lots of sunshine. It's a very sunny little courtyard and be really fun to experiment with it and see how it does. I'm always really curious to grow new things and also things that are good for small gardens. Such a cute little thing. I'm so excited by this. My husband was very happy to get this, I must say, but he did say that he's looking forward to giving me some beer for my birthday because I think that's what he would have liked to have, you know. So fair enough. <laughs> it's always nice to have a good occasion to give a beautiful plant to the home garden. So that is the raspberry tree. Very exciting. I look forward to comparing the fruit these fruits here with the usual raspberries I have. I have two kinds growing up, some yellow ones and some beautiful red ones too. And they should all be sort of fruiting around the same time. They're all at the same stage now flowering. So yes, really exciting, really fun. And I'll let you know how it goes. I, I tried to look up some videos. I usually try to watch videos on plants before I get them, but there was like one video I saw with um, someone picking some of these and they looked pretty much like regular raspberries. 
So that was all I could see. So it's gonna be really interesting to see how they go and how they grow and how they do in our climate, but they should do well. I'm gonna just leave it out here and probably repot it sooner rather than later, just so it has lots of good, you know, really strong, healthy soil to grow into and, and develop those healthy roots and fruit as well as it can do. So very exciting and I will do updates so you can see how it does in case you want to grow one as well. But definitely if you are looking for a raspberry for a small container or a small area, small garden, small patio even, this could be a really good one and we'll soon know how it does. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.